was a downright shocking crime committed by a teenager in Sparta, sending him to prison for life at just 16 years old. But now, due to a Supreme Court ruling, Federico Cruz could get a new sentence and the possibility of parole. 24 Hour News 817 was in court for today's hearing as the convicted killer, now 39 years old, pleaded for a chance at freedom. It was 1996, one of the most gruesome killings Kent County has ever seen. 16 at the time, Federico Cruz beat 17-year-old David Crawford to death near the Sparta airport. Cruz would later cut off the victim's head and mutilate it while recording himself on a home video he called the murder show. Ladies and gentlemen, everything on this show is real. Now, more than two decades later, Cruz is back in court, 39 years old. His defense attorney asking the judge for a reduced sentence of a term of years. Is Mr. Cruz so irredeemably corrupt he can never be rehabilitated? I don't believe that. I've seen it with my own eyes. Cruz's mother, father, and Cruz himself all took the stand. The teen killer testifying that he was molested by a cousin at just 10 or 12 years old. I felt disgusted. I I felt dirty. Cruz said that trauma led him down the wrong path. He later got caught up in a bad crowd and believed he could communicate with demons. All that ultimately led him to commit the crime, he says. He said today he's a different man, rehabilitated thanks to prison programs. His message here to the victim's family. I took something from them that I can never give back. I, there's memories. I took... I stole it from them. They didn't deserve it. But the prosecutor, who's asking the judge to uphold the life sentence without parole, says Cruz had problems well before he was molested. He made a conscious decision on the spur of a moment to kill another human being. And no you know, pictures with dogs or sending stuff to needy kids and that are needing food is going to cure what are some deep-seated issues that predated the 10-year-old molestation. So Cruz is one of 22 juvenile lifers in Kent County who will or already have gotten new hearings. Judge Dennis Lieberman, Lieber, excuse me, will make the final decision in this case on Wednesday. In Studio Control, Evan Dean, 24-Hour News 8.